Today I'm going to teach you how people get lawn stripes with a rotary mower, a cylindrical mower, and not only stripes, we're also going to do crisscross patterns like the diamond and checkered. And most of you might know me from car reviews. You can just call me Yuri the Straight Stripes. So to start things off, the way striping grass works is it's just weight from a roller or from a roller behind the rotary mower that is pushing the grass down in different directions. So you go one way, it pushes it down, then you go the other way and it pushes it down the other way. And then when you look at it, the sun bounces off the part that's pushed down away from you and that goes light. And then the part that's pushed towards you, you're seeing through that into the dirt and that's darker. And that's how you get the light and dark. Sometimes you can't see the stripes. That's because the stripes always look best when the sun is behind you. So you need to set up your viewing angle for the sun to be behind you for where you want people to see it from at what time of day. So that's where it gets tricky because not every stripe is easy to do on every property for every time of day. So it's a little compromise you have to do. Then longer grass will stripe nicer and darker than shorter grass, but shorter grass just looks better but you need a cylindrical mower to go for shorter grass than a rotary mower for longer grass. So let's start off with how to do stripes on a long grass with a rotary mower with a big league lawn stripe kit behind it. Since that's probably the most common thing and we're in the hoodie because I've been burning my neck and stuff so we gotta stay safe in the sun. Lucky for me, my neighbor was fertilizing his lawn and he let me cut it, put some stripes into it. So I started off by attaching the striping kit to the back of the mower, which attaches really easily, but it does make it a little tricky to pivot around. There's also a Toro kit that I gave to one of my buddies, which has a better swivel, but that stuff doesn't attach to Ryobi because of the way it's mounted, but just check online for what you can get. I, can, I highly recommend Big League Lawn's striping kits. They're really nice. So to start off on Lou's lawn, I lined it up with the lines in the sidewalk because you want to have a good reference from where you're starting from because your lines can get crooked easy. And I went from there and what you do, the best way to do it is pick a line in the distance and just go straight towards that. Because if you start looking down, you start swerving and stuff like that. And for the rotary mower, I found that the best way to do it was to line up the tire tracks, like do the wheel tracks, and then the next path going down, just do one over. At first I tried to overlap it and you'll see there's like weird lines in the middle and stuff and that didn't look good at all but luckily if your grass is long enough you can erase a lot of the stripes by going over it again so as you can see in my video i started got some of the lines in the spacing wrong and by the time i went over it again everything was all fixed up you could also do your whole border first without a striper on there or like you know go the other way first so that you get everything. Because when you're striping, sometimes you'll miss a bit of grass to cut to make it look pretty, but like that's kind of the coolest part. So I kind of butchered the stripes. I did the math wrong, and then it got a little crooked, but the very left side is looking good. So I'm just gonna go from the left side and correct all the way to the right. Because if you go over, you can fix some of your mistakes. All right, that's some pretty good stripes. Now that everything's properly lined up, I'm just gonna keep burning it in. I'm just gonna go over like two more times, see how that looks. And then his grass just looked totally amazing at a different time of day near the end from the street where it would look better for him leaving his house in the morning. Okay, here we are uh, with the sun behind that house now. You can't see any of the stripes at all. But now from the house, the stripes are a lot darker. But this whole setup is really designed for a viewing angle from across the street at the end of the day. And now it's with the sun behind us. Now this is with the right to a 90 degree angle. And this is the grass 24 hours later. Still nice and punchy. 
and these stripes lasted for about a week pretty well and after that I did a diamond pattern but I'll show that after I show you how you do cylindrical mower stripes. So next up how to do stripes with a cylindrical mower. So that's like a push mower that's the cylinder. These are powered ones. I have an Allet Liberty 43 and the big roller at the back is the weighted part and it's like in two separate parts so it can pivot. So it's pretty much the same. You just pick your line, you go forward and it pushes the grass down, but it like really pushes the grass down and makes darker, dark stripes. But the minimum height is like at a four centimeter thing. So if you have long grass, it's just not good for that. You need to cut your grass down and it's just for like nicer, shorter lawns, which is what I wanted in my house. All right, so what's causing these stripes? Why is this darker than this? Well, this is pushed down and this is pushed down towards me. So this is reflecting off the sun, making it lighter. And this is shooting the points towards me, which is showing the dirt, making it darker. So here, let's see. Uh, it's really hard to see close up on this grass since it's so short. And I got a lot of like, beat up tips so that's not good but and this has a grass collection at the front and what's good about the grass collection is that it doesn't leave the clippings in your grass when it leaves the clippings in your grass that stuff if it's too long will turn yellow and then that'll take away from how nice your grass looks also if you don't have your cylinder sharp the edges of the grass will get a little bit like cut up like I had to backlap my cylindrical mower to sharpen it and then you can kind of see all the yellowness at the top. So that takes away from the brightness and darkness of the stripes. Now to make the edges even darker, it's like a nicer edge, harder edge. I'm gonna use my push mower and run the wheel right on the line. So like, look in one pass, how much sharper this line is than this line. I think I'll do two passes there, see how much darker that goes. but I went over it and it looked really good, really clean stripes, I went for the triple wide. I have done single wide, I have done single checkers, but I wanted to do triple. And I think it all turned out pretty nicely. All right, now to how to do a diamond or checker pattern. Went back to Lou's house like six days later, maybe a week later, I can't really remember. I freshened up the stripes that were already there, so I had a good ballpark where to go. And then from there, picked a nice diagonal for diamonds went back and forth all the way. All right, so that might not look very diamondy. It might just kind of look more or less like diagonal lines, but if we move the camera to over here now everything looks much more diamondy but i went over a couple of these ones more than once so what i need to do is go over everything else twice and then go over this one twice so everything's super even and then some of them i screwed up so i had to go over twice but then once i went over twice there that means i only went over once on the first direction so what i had to do is go back and go again on that direction and then again on the diagonal to even it out because if you go over if you're doing diagonals and you do one like three times over, that's gonna burn in way darker than the other one. So everything needs to be even for diagonals. And there we have what I think is pretty good diamonds. Now it's not that punchy from here because the sun is to this side. But when the sun gets right behind us here, uh, actually when the sun gets right behind us here, it'll look the best it can. Because you know, you want it to go like that so that both are lit up equally. And overall, I think the diagonals turned out pretty good. The viewing angle is weird. You gotta like get it from the right spot. It definitely looks like nicer from high up above, but no one's really seeing it from up there. But yeah, again, it looks great with the sun directly behind it. Then for my yard, I was having friends over for a croquet. I wanted to make it look extra nice. So I went and lined up 90 degrees, went all the way across, walked around, across again, walked around, across again, and then started going back because I wanted to make sure I didn't overlap too many times and burn in anything darker than it should be. And I just kept going at it and then I came out there for a picture with the mower, which screwed up some of the stripes, which means I had to do the 
lengthwise again, and then go around and do the other way because I want it to be nice and even. And then what I also did was a nice little pro tip for cylindrical mowing. I used my Gardena push mower, went over everything because if you push super hard with the push mower over the wheel, that darkens the line even more than just the roller or like darkens the edge, which you know is kind of what you want because you're just doing arts and crafts on your lawn. So I think that worked out really well too. And if we look at it from from here, it doesn't look that checkered. Here, it doesn't look that checkered. Here, it looks checkered but not punchy. Checkered but not punchy. Super weird, checkered but super weird. So that's how you do lawn stripes. That's the theory behind it. And if you're looking to start, I highly recommend a big league lawn striping kit. Or if you've got short grass, definitely get an Allet mower. They're a little pricey, but you know, it's like super good, high quality stuff. You get into like a nice cylinder that cuts blades. You get different attachments and everything too. Allet Canada helped me out with all my stuff and it's just been great. Like you can use a scarifying kit and everything. It's really good. And then attaching the big league lawn kit to the Ryobi mower was great too. That one was all wheel drive and powered. That worked out really well. Catch all the clippings. Uh, really enjoy having electrical and not gas. So let me know what you think. Let me know how your lawn striping experience went. And uh, yeah, I guess just leave some lawn striping tips below in the comments. I haven't tried a ride-on mower for striping yet and I haven't tried a zero turn mower so maybe one day I'll be able to do that and my friend does the lawn stripes at the Sky Dome at the Rogers Center even though it's uh, fake turf so maybe one day they'll let me go and stripe that too. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe for more lawn stuff and lawn tips and watch my best weeding tool video because that was a good one because weeds are a pain. They won't make your grass look nice if you got dandelions everywhere.